Today we're at Truro and Penwith College to give you an insight into higher education and what's on offer at the college. I'm Martin Page and I'm the course coordinator for the foundation degree, which is commonly known as an FDA, and the BA top up in silversmithing and jewellery. The step-by-step -step process of how to make a spoon involves a lot of hammering. It's all about hammering. It's about how the metal feels when you strike it on an anvil and how you can manipulate that metal. You can stretch it. You can stretch it in long ways. You can stretch it in wide ways. And it's through that stretching that you create this spoon-shaped object. A spoon is not a specialist subject that we cover in uh, silversmithing. There are only three methods of making forms in silversmithing. One is taking a flat disc and raising it into a, a bowl or a jug. The other one is using flat material and folding it up so you create a box. And then the third one is forging, which is what we're doing with making the spoon. To be a well-rounded silversmith, you'd need to be able to forge spoons not only spoons but forks or, or ladles or something like that because it's part of a silversmith's kind of skill set. Jewellery and silversmithing is a niche subject but it is an art and design subject so, so if you've got art and design skills you can apply those art and design skills to everything. The proportion of students on this course is predominantly students that are adult students. We do get some younger students that come straight from level three courses at college or schools, but they do bring a great kind of sense of, of achievement because they've very often missed out on things and so when they come here they're really determined and that helps to, to motivate the younger students. I chose Truro College because it's nearer to home and it's the only place in the southwest that teaches silversmithing and jewellery. The particular highlight of my experience here so far when we were introduced to pewter and casting, of which I've taken further into my personal project. We've got students out there that have started their own workshops making very high level work. We've also got students that have gone off and started galleries and we've also got students that are working for other jewellers as a bench jewellers. The ways you can get involved in a course like this is possibly starting off with a leisure course. That would enable you to get a little understanding about some of the early techniques that you might need to work with. At the end of the two years after the, after the foundation course, you would have enough skills that you could go off and work in a workshop, but you'd also have the business skills. You'd also have the competence with building your own website, being able to produce presentations. But it also gives you a context about whether or not you want to carry that interest forward, because a lot of people have a, an interest in jewellery making because they like jewellery. But actually, you've got to remember that it's like mini miniature engineering, so you've got to have a, a kind of an engineering attitude to it. We hope you've enjoyed this taste of what higher education can offer. For more information on courses and routes into higher education, you can visit the Next Step Southwest website or join the conversation on our social media channels.